Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are, whenever you are. Today is the last day of the year 2021. We hope that 2022 will be a better year for all of us than 2021. And salamu alaikum as well. We greet you with all the greetings that you want to be greeted by, whether you are in Europe, in America, in Canada, in Australia, in New Zealand, in Africa, in Asia, Middle East, North Africa, anywhere. Today you are witnessing the last few hours of the year 2021, which the, my talk today is about my account, my account for 2021. Let me uh, remind you and myself that any public figure, any public figure is made accountable to the community, to his or her community. Because you became a public figure, whether in social life, in the economy, in politics, in agriculture, in education, anything, in all these kind of specialists. Since you became a public figure, you have to be accountable, not only to your community, maybe to your country, maybe to the humanity, maybe to anybody, maybe to anybody, because you are a public figure. Prime minister, minister, president, king, queen, princesses, princes, leaders of power, political parties, MPs, all those have to be accountable to the lowest of the lowest in the society and to be answerable to any question to be raised by anyone. Any question to be raised by anyone. Any question to be raised by anyone. This is my fourth year of submitting my accounts to you. I started voluntarily, voluntarily in 20, no, in 2018, 2018, 19, 20 last year and 21 this year. In today's talk, I'll be talking about seven points, total activities in 2021, travel trips in 2021, travel trips during 2020, online meeting, holding remote lectures, a series called FADFADA, five to five, details of the countries visited during 2021. These seven points, let us start. If you consider yourself a public figure, particularly if you work in humanitarian field with the poor people and the claim that you are the champion of the champion to feed, to quench the thirst of the people, to shelter people, you have to be accountable, ultra accountable, ultra accountable. And this slide, total activities in 2021, we'll find that I traveled 32 days, uh, visited 14 countries and cities, giving lectures during these activities, uh, 48 lectures, making media, news, coverage, op-ed, and TV of 14. Fadfada Lectures 46, it's a series on, the, on my YouTube. Zoom meeting and lecture 32. Virtual meetings, the, the Zoom lectures, then virtual meetings. Virtual meetings and lectures 198. And the total for 2021 is 338 activities. 338 activities. During travel trips, as I mentioned to you earlier, some, if some evening, some activities with the youth and the other meeting did not, were, were not recorded. Because we cannot record everything. Otherwise, we'll make an encyclopedia. Many personal meetings also during the 2021 took place on a weekly basis, but we did not record it. 
It's too much. Too much. Yani, these 338, 338 activities is what we can account for, but there's more and more have not been included. Additional op-ed is written, but not published yet. So this is the activities in 2021. Travel trips during 2021, 18 journeys, visit six countries, visit 14 cities and stayed 32 days, especially over the last two months, since mid-October to mid-December, I traveled 28, 29 days in 60 days, Alhamdulillah. To Qatar, Turkey, Ireland, Ireland, uh, uh, Spain, and Italy. Total journeys includes flight trips and car trips. Okay. Travel trips during 2021 as well. Total six trips. This is in 2020, so not 2021. In 2020, uh, six trips, uh, five countries, and 26 days. Okay, comparing any yani six days less, one country less in 2020, uh, as you can see. The reason for the decrease in travel trips compared to previous years, especially 2018, 2019, is COVID. Of course, COVID. COVID will stop many people. Have COVID has stopped many, many, many people before. This was not a reason to stop us from working. We tell COVID, we'll take our precautionary measures, vaccine A, vaccine B, booster dose, we'll put the mask, we'll make social distances, but we will work. We will work we will work. We are not going to stop. We are not going to stop. We are not going to stop. We're carrying on to carry on our work because our work is a part of our mission to deliver a certain specific message to the young people. We continued working and giving lectures by all available means. WhatsApp, Zoom, online, face-to-face, -face, call it. Total virtual meeting in 2022 and the activities included the following. We were a part of 40 high-level meetings organized by UN groups, UN OCHA, UN FPA, IAC, HPG, WHO, UNICEF, UNRWA. Lots of board meetings, trustees, meetings with employees here and there, meeting to record TV program series, virtual and in person, meeting with other organizations, many organizations, many organizations, many organizations, lectures for employees on other humanitarian institutions and the academics. So these are the virtual meetings and program in 2021, 198 virtual meetings, 198 virtual meetings. Are you with me? Okay. Total lectures of a series called Fatfada, which, uh, which we made in May uh, this year was 46, 23 in English, 23 in Arabic. It's on YouTube if you want to talk to, to, to see it. So 46 plus 198. Other activities, six TV interviews, radio interview in Ireland, published op-ed for Global Village Space, foreign policy news, interview with the executive directors here and there in Turkey, somebody called uh, Sister, uh, director of uh, 
سيستر عايشة الدبس عايشة الدبس في مؤسسة كولد زدني on humanitarian work so a lot in Turkey so when you look at this people might say okay this man was traveling to enjoy himself to waste the money and the time of the organization very expensive tickets very expensive flight I mean very expensive uh, hotels it's not like this I will tell you how it happened we were locked in till the end of August 2020 but we were using the virtual meeting from 1st of January 2021 till the end of August only virtual till we started to move in the middle of October 2021 Countries visited in this 2021, six countries. Qatar, I visited one city. Uh, uh, number of activities, 11. And they stayed there six days. Switzerland, I visited one city, which is Geneva. We have one activity, and they stayed there for three days. Turkey, I visited four cities. We made 15 activities. And I stayed there for nine days. Ireland, I visited two cities. We did eight activities, and I stayed there for three days. Spain, I visited four cities. We made nine activities, and I stayed there for six days. Italy, I visited two cities. Uh, may, we made four activities, and we stayed for five days. So the total number of cities visited 14. The number of activities in these six countries and uh, is about 48 and the number of days 32 days the total activities does not include listen to this many personal meetings many personal meetings and young people evening activities i tell you why because uh, the organizer of my Italy, Ireland, and uh, Spain trip was adamant to save money. And I used to share the same room with a colleague to split the cost in two. This was in Spain, this one in Ireland as well, and this was in Italy. This reminds me of the good old days. What is the good old days? In the good old days, we did not go to hotels in the 80s and 90s. We used to sleep underneath the desks, the office itself. I remember one day in Sudan, the office of the manager was very sizable and it was a big desk and I slept underneath the desk, big one, this number one. Even I remember the office in Pakistan, in Islamabad, behind the office there was a dining room it was my bedroom we used to sleep even in one journey on january 2020 2002 after the 2001 incident we were traveling from kabul to tour afghanistan at the time myself and the colleague young colleague called Sekandar ali we slept in one room you know how many people 10 people 10 people in a house of someone in somewhere, I can't remember where it is, in a high risk area. And this is, remind me back of the good old days. Thank you, Mr. Salah, who was putting me uh, uh, instantly with, with people in the same room. You know what was the reason? To have discussion before we we'll go to bed. So we could arrive to the room by 9, 10 in the evening, and the discussion start after 10 till about midnight or after midnight with the young people in my room. Saving money and having more discussion. Discussion in the car, discussion on the airplane, and discussion in the room, hotel room. <sighs> also, some more activities have not been recorded. Yeah, there's a lot of photographs. I'll send them to you later on with the link. 
also here in Turkey as well, and Spain. The good thing about the three European capitals or three European cities or three European countries, very energetic, dynamic young people, originally Moroccan, originally Egyptian, originally Pakistani, originally Indian, originally African, okay, but dynamic. You know what do you mean dynamic? They empowered me and motivated me. Unfortunately, in Italy, you could not be able to organize dinners to raise funds. It was just talks. But while in Spain, we managed to organize uh, dinners because the government allowed that and the income raised by uh, Spain was six times as much as the income raised by Italy. Let me talk to you about the program because some people might say, oh, he is now uh, enjoying himself, getting a free ride, sitting down in hotels. And let, let us talk about what was the content of the program. Friday, khutbah, prayer <coughs> ceremony, evening of an inspiration with the volunteers, board members, young groups or youth groups, breakfast with the volunteers or employees of the local organization, such as Islamic Leaf, lunch, another meeting with them, another discussion. No food being served without discussion. And this is in Ireland, charity week, a lot of activities. Dean and the Dunya, Dr. Hines special broadcast in Ireland with the local radio, meeting with community leaders as well. This is actually travel about three hours from uh, Dublin to Oma to meet the community leaders in the mosque in Oma. This is in Ireland. There are different activities. In Spain, interactive talks with young people and the audience at charity events in Madrid, meeting and lunch with Islamic League Spain staff and other organization, young people, talks in the mosque, meeting with community leaders in Madrid as well, mosque talks and meeting with community leaders as well, Friday khutbah, I stopped doing Friday khutbah a long time ago, but they asked me to keep doing it again. Evening talk at mosques, uh, interactive talk with young people, uh, charity events, charity dinners, meeting with institution leaders, in different parts, meeting with community leaders, as well as interactive talk with the young people. So another way, interactive, 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 interactive with young people. as you will see when I send you the photographs later on. In Italy, breakfast with the young people, radio interview again, lunch with young people, two Friday khutbah on the same day, interactive talk with young people and meeting with volunteers. The same, we'll send you these images inshallah. The diversity of this program, the diversity of this program, these trips contained a variety of activities and targeted different groups and audience. Different groups and audience. Visited different humanitarian and Islamic institutions, as I, as I said, mosques, Islamic centers, and the humanitarian organization and social organization. This is number one. Visited leaders of Muslim organization to observe the achievement of their institution and to change the experience. Talks and conferences, conferences, interactive talks in evening 
events during dinners and talks and in the evening. Friday khutbah, many lectures and workshops, TV interviews, radio interviews, meeting with leaders from Islamic institution to discuss initiatives, different ways forward to integrate within uh, the Western societies. This is the variety and this is the diversity. My first, my first concern and my first objective in this during this trip in the 32 days is the young people. The young people. When we hold public meeting, discussion, workshops with young people in large and small numbers. Meetings with young people again to discuss their, their ideas and thoughts. Young people are not the same. They could be the same age, but different mentality, different philosophy of thinking, different culture, different ideas. Listen to young people, to their problem, and discuss their problem with them. Train them to stand up and speak. I remember in some of these cities, we asked young people to stand up next to me, and some of them were standing up in public in front of the public for the first time in their life. And for a minute or two or two or two or three, they couldn't be able to speak. They were speechless. Then when they spoke, they were eloquent and faster than myself, alhamdulillah. Building confidence in the young people, they have to be confident in themselves because one day they should become the leaders. Urging young people to strive and think about the future continuously, asking the young people, to think for the future and bring new ideas in a very, very, very systematic and continuously. Gathering with young people on picnic and barbecue on the trips. So now the challenge is, do you want to say that I've been traveling to waste the money of the organization, buying tickets, all our tickets, alhamdulillah, our economy. If I have Turkish airline, I upgrade it to business class. Used to sleep two or three people in the same room. This reminds me of the good old days. Sometimes we miss a meal or we take the, latest, the, the last meal very late. And sometimes we work for about 16 hours or 18 hours or 20 hours, it depends on the traveling distance between city and other city. I'm focusing with you on the young people because this is my dream, building our future generations, investing in them and integrate them into our activities to make them the current future leaders, the current future leaders. Clear, if you want to challenge me and say that I've been wasting time and money, come and ask the young people how many hours we used to work together during this cold winter in Europe, in Ireland, Spain, and Italy. As my primary and the great interest is the young people. I have also focused during these trips on what? On what? Be sure to travel with young people. That's why I advise anyone, including our friend, uh, uh, brother Nasr Awan, who is the chairman of the board of Islamic Leaf uh, Pakistan. Be sure when you travel, travel, travel with young people, to pass the knowledge, the experience, 
to discuss the idea and to listen to their initiatives. Hold the small and the individual discussions to listen to their ideas and thoughts. Discussion in the plane, discussion in the car. Let me give you an example. We traveled to, this was in Italy, to Polonia. It's about two hours journey, but the good brother uh, uh, hired a very small car. You even cannot bend your knees and sit inside it. And I was sitting in the front seat and the sheikh was sitting in the back seat. And the discussion started for over the two hours. Then we had the dinner, we had some nasheed or concert there. Then after that, after dinner, we decided to sit down with the young people to have open discussion. All right, we finished just 11, 12 o'clock in the evening. By the time we arrived back to the hotel in Milan, it was two o'clock in the morning. I was like a dead sardine in a tent. Couldn't be able to even unlock my knees, my elbows because of this car. And they asked me, how did how on earth you hire a car like this? He told me, uh, doctor, this car cost us 17 euro a day. The second one is 70 euro a day. So 53 euro for a day. I said, you are right. And for two hours, I was in my bed, in, in my hotel room, trying to unlock my knees, my shoulder, and my elbows. Thanks to the brother who reminded me of the good old days when we used to sleep in warehouses, four or five people in a room, uh, under the desks, in the meeting room, and, 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 and. And those people who said that was time and ask them to come and meet me, inshallah, including you, Abu Yasser. Ha. Discussion during breakfast, lunch, there's nothing, no, nothing called free lunch, free breakfast, free dinner. If you sit down, you have to either put a question on the table, put an idea on the table, or listen to a discussion. Living and sharing the bedroom, as I mentioned. This is the culture of these uh, journeys. The importance of divers diversifying programs and activities with young people. Why it is important to keep the program diverse with the young people, with the young people, okay? We have to take into consideration the different personalities of the young people. Even if you have got five or four or three children, they're not the same. They think differently. They look differently. They come from the same father, same mother, living in the same, living in the same house, in the same flat, but they have different mentality. This number one. Number two, encouraging. Even some of them are exposed to different environment in the same township, in the same area, because this young girl go to this school with a culture, this young man, boy or man going to this school with different culture. The teacher is different in the, the, from this school to this school. Even the surrounding area of the schools have different cultures. Encouraging young people to engage in discussion, they must, they must gain confidence to start discussing things, to air their opinion in public and in private. Giving young people the opportunity to lead discussion and progress and programs, discover new talents. As I mentioned in some of the talks long time ago, a few months ago, about the founder of Singapore who said, every child is gifted. No child is born without being gifted, but it's up to us as community leaders to discover the gift or the talent of each child. 
every child is a talented, has got talent. But it could be more than one talent, two talents, three talents, whatever you call it. But it's up to you, Mr. Leader, and uh, welcome, Brother Jangir Malik. He's one of the leaders who used to teach me very much during the good old days. And actually, every child has a talent. Be more than one, it's up to us to discover such talent. Build the trust and encourage the young people to feel that we are with them. You know, the big difference between we are with them or they are with us. No, we are a part of them. And we want them to make us, uh, to, to, make, to make them a part of us. We are a part of them and want to make them a part of us, inshallah. This is how you can approach the young people. And this is my experience over the 32 days travel between the mid-October till the mid-December uh, as a part of my account before you. Now I give my message to the young people and all of you are young people, inshallah. If you wanted to examine our life journey, now I am 71, alhamdulillah. Thank you. Yani, happy birthday to you as well. We need to understand that it is not calculated by the days, the weeks, the months, or the years. No. Generations and ages are calculated by the time scale, which are much smaller than our minds, than what our minds can realize. Therefore, my dear knowledgeable independent young people, time has passed on for one year. One year, 30, 365 days, 21,900 hours, 1 million 314,000 minutes, 78,840,000 seconds, 4,730,400,000 thirds, 283,824,000 fourths, and so on, and so on. Some of you might say, it is boring. He keep giving us this big numbers what is in it for us come on come on don't waste our time the answer because the one who counts our ages and life spans is whom is almighty allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who can count it with less than the phantom itself he is the one from whom there is no secret. That's why I'm calculating these big numbers to tell you or tell myself that I 283 billion, 824 million fourth of the second or the minutes I spent last year. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that he knows what penetrates into the earth and what emerges from it and what descends from the heaven and what ascends therein and he is the merciful. Don't think that one second in our life will not be recorded. There are angels recording the events of the day other angels recording the events of the night or the evening. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also knows that which deceives the eyes and what breasts conceal. He knows what's in our heart and what our eyes cannot see. Indeed, Allah alone has knowledge of the hour and sends down the rain and knows what is 
in the wombs of the woman. And no soul perceives what it will earn tomorrow. And no soul perceives in what land it will die. Indeed, Allah is knowing and the acquainted. He is, through the system he created, knows every action, every intention. So the 365 days of 2021 is being recorded. Three dimension video, four dimension video, seven dimension video by the second or by the phantom. To Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. He creates what he wills. He gives to whom? He will. He gives to whom? Female, children, or male children from the womb. Nobody can know it, but he knows that. Or he makes them both male and female and renders whom he wills barren. Indeed, he is knowing and competent. This is Allah. So if we make ourselves accountable, to the community on one side, which is a mention, public figure should be made accountable to everyone, but as well as well as we have to be accountable to Allah, who knows what's hidden in the hearts and the minds and the soul of people, and what can the eyes and the ears can hear, cannot hear. We should know, young people that we will be held accountable for more or less than this, a major or minor things than this, that we might undermine. Have we prepared an account of what we have done over the past year? Or have we prepared an account of what we have done over the, uh, what we are, uh, or have we prepared a, a list to monitor ourselves over the course of the coming year? As Umar said, حاسبوا أنفسكم قبل أن تحاسبوا وزنوا أعمالكم قبل أن توزن عليكم وترزينوا اليوم العرض الأكبر. Hold yourself accountable before you get held accountable. Weigh your deeds before it is weighed for you and prepare for the grand display day, which is the day of judgment. This is Omar. This year has passed. Khalas gone. Now in Europe, in England, now it is nearly seven o'clock, five hours to go. Maybe in different parts of the world, it's the 1st of January, 2022. It passed rather fast, rather quick and fast, faster than the speed of light or sound. And this is one of the signs, the minor signs of the day of judgment. During this year, we have witnessed we have witnessed sad and painful events, unbearable to solid mountains, to the level that the skies and the earth have not cried to the evil tyrant who wreaked havoc on earth. The skies and the earth will never cry for or on those tyrants, corrupt or wrecked the earth. Surah Dukhan.
But at the same time, the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would be shaken for the cries of the millions of the orphans and the millions of the prisoners, the prayers of the prisoners, the oppressed prisoners in different parts of the world. The skies and the earth will never cry for the tyrant, but Allah's throne will be shaken for the cry of the orphans and the prayers of the oppressed. Oppressed from Rohingya, Yazidi, people in Central African Republic, Syria, Yemen, Afghanistan, Palestine, Lebanon, Kashmir, India, Eritrea, Democratic Republic of Hong Kong, and elsewhere in the planet, wrecked by whom? By those tyrants, by the second. And they have this joy of torturing and killing people. This past year, ask some questions. Did we feel the pain of the orphans, the homeless, children, the displaced, the refugees, those oppressed by the tyrants and the oppressive rulers? Did we feel the pain of the poor and the elderly? Each one has to make him or herself accountable, as Omar said. Did we reach out and maintain contacting our families, father, mother, aunties, uncle, relatives, did we welcome our guests in our houses or because of Corona or closing the doors? Were we good to our neighbors? Were we kind to those in need? Do we comfort the bereaved? Did we bring joy and happiness to the miserable as well? This is every one of us male and female has to ask himself or herself this question. Did we plant a tree or trees? Did we dress a naked? Did we provide water to the thirsty? Did we shelter the displaced? Did we teach a child? Did we guide the sinner? Did we build a school or clinic? Did we stop an evil act? Did we pave a road? Did we help digging a well? Did we spread knowledge? Did we hold a secret and not showing it to everybody? Did we increase awareness of public? Did we fight corruption? Did we bring justice? Did we return the rights to their owners? Did we visit? an elderly, lonely stranger, and then promised our Lord not to return to what, we're, what we were on before, as he is the most merciful forgiver of sins, the acceptor of repentance, the subtle one, the forbearing, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So will we pledge yeah, to Allah, will we bridge ourselves to ourselves and our lords to bear the responsibility that the mountains, the skies, and the lands were unable to bear? Will we seek in this land as reformers or society builders or people who are fighting corruption of the tyrants? Will we dream of creating the society that every prophet of Allah and messenger strived to achieve? These are questions we need to ask ourselves at the end of the 2021. Because 2022, we might not see 2022 tomorrow. We might drop dead now. We don't know. We don't know what we're going to earn tomorrow. We don't know where are we going to die.
or we become the deliverers of the banner of righteousness, goodness, fraternity, equality, justice, and freedom that all creatures of Allah crave for. Or will we become just like a shadow whose existence is lost at sunset so that it does not have an effect to be followed or an approach to be taken or an idea that turns into a culture and moral values. Dear young people, we are at the crossroad and you have to choose what you want to go right or left. I mentioned, I discussed with you my account for 2021 as a public figure, but each one of us have to realize that he has a, a detailed, more detailed account, more detailed accounts with S, written, filmed, recorded by angels by the second, by the third, by the fourth, by the phantom, what all of us will see. Soon we die now. Soon we die now. Soon we die now. Young people, know that this is coming. It's coming soon. Because Allah is closer to all of us than the jugular vein in our neck. And he knows what's in our heart. He knows what's in the wombs of the mother. He knows what are going to, where are we going to earn our money tomorrow and where our death will be, be next year or tomorrow or any part of the world. I remind you and myself again with the say of Omar Radilano, Make yourself accountable before you become accountable to others. And weigh your deeds before somebody will wait before you at the day of judgment. And be prepared to show the best for Allah on the day of judgment. Jazakum Allah khair. Happy New Year, inshallah. And I wish that our New Year will be far more better than the years before. We can do more things positive to help humanity. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.